Now to those potential new rules for realtors. A $418 million settlement reached with the National Association of Realtors is sparking this change. Channel 5 Sarah Cervera talked to a realtor to clear up any misinformation about what it means for you as a buyer or seller. We're first time home buyers. Maria Avalos wants to find the perfect place to call home in McAllen. It's super hard. We have never attempted or done this before. The already confusing process just got another layer added to it. The change is due to an antitrust law filed against the National Association of Realtors. They settled for $418 million and announced changes to how their realtors get paid or their commission. The commission actually for the listing agent, yes, I mean, that's our livelihood, of course. Jenny Avalaneda is both a listing and buyer agent. Currently, as a listing agent, she negotiates a commission with a home seller. That commission then pays for both her and her buyer's agent. Under the new rule, a buyer could have to pay their own agent if a seller won't. Sometimes they don't want to pay a commission thing. Yes, we go back to the buyer and we tell them, you know, we're not going to get paid a commission. You know, this is the commission that will you be able to pay. Avalaneda says her goal is to get a property sold faster, and she believes working with other agents is the best way to do that. I am going to share the commission with the buyer agent because I want my property to be sold. And they, if I pay a buyer's agent, of course, I believe the property will sell or will sh be shown a lot more. The changes for realtors, sellers, and buyers still needs to be approved by a federal judge. Though the process to buying a home is becoming more complicated, Avalos hopes others won't get discouraged. I recommend they don't give up and keep pushing forward. Sarah Cervera, Channel 5 News, at 6.